Welcome to this Hortonworks University online tutorial of Hadoop Essentials. This module will cover working with PIG. In this module, we will describe the PIG characteristics and elements of the PIG language and the PIG architecture. We will describe PIG features, data flow, and data types. We will examine common PIG script examples as well as describing common PIG debugging tips. So let's get on with introducing PIG. PIG is a data flow language for expressing data analysis and infrastructure processes. PIG is translated into a series of MapReduce jobs that are run by the Hadoop cluster. PIG is extensible through user-defined functions that can be written in Java and other languages. PIG scripts provide a high-level language to create the MapReduce jobs needed to process data in a Hadoop cluster. PIG consists of three elements. One, a language called PIG Latin. It is a high-level scripting language. It requires no metadata or schema, and the statements are translated into a series of MapReduce jobs. Two, an interactive shell known as Grunt, and three, a shared repository created and maintained by the community for user-defined functions called PiggyBank. Pig can also be extended with jar files that are created by the developer themselves. So let's address the Pig Latin language. Pig Latin is a language for expressing data analysis and infrastructure processes. It supports many traditional operations such as join, sort, filter, etc., and simplifies the joining of data and the chaining of jobs. Pig Latin statements are translated into one or more MapReduce jobs. With HCatalog, traditional Pig data flow paradigm changes slightly. HCat holds the location and metadata information, so there is no need to write a Pig script to handle the data flow. As you can see from the diagram below, we can read data to be manipulated from the file system with HCat. We can manipulate the data with Pig and output the data to the screen or store it for processing also using PIG. PIG Latin scripts describe a directed acyclic graph. The edges are data flows and the nodes are operators that work on the data. PIG goes through several steps to transform a PIG Latin script to a set of MapReduce jobs. Note the steps to transform a PIG Latin script to a set of MapReduce jobs are as follows. The PIG interpreter immediately processes each entry. If a statement is valid, it gets added to a logical plan built by the PIG interpreter. The steps in the plan do not execute in MapReduce until a dump or a store command is encountered. A PIG relation is a bag of tuples. A PIG relation is similar to a table in a relational database where the tuples in the bag correspond to the rows in a table. Unlike a relational table, however, PIG relations don't require that every tuple contain the same number of fields or that the fields in the same position or column have the same type. PIG has three complex data types, maps, tuples, and bags. All of these types can contain data of any type, including other complex types. Let's take a look at a few PIG examples. This is an example utilizing the filter and group commands as part of the PIG Latin syntax. Let's take a look at a PIG example using the filter and group keywords. Note we create a relation called log events. We create this relation by loading input my log and we also state the schema that we would like for the tuples to follow. Note that each record that we read from input my log will be, will be brought in as a tuple of date, level, 
code, and message. Note that each of the fields in this tuple, with the exception of code, have a data type of car array. Note that code has a data type of int. Then we create a second relation called severe. We create severe by filtering log events based on our criteria that level must equal severe and code must be greater than or equal to 500. We then create another relation called grouped. The way we create the grouped relation is by calling group on severe and grouping the tuples by code. Next, we cause a map reduce job to be run by calling store. Store will take grouped and place it into output severe events. This slide shows an example of using the for each keyword. Note we are creating relation called E1. We are then creating a relation called F off of each record in E1 based upon a certain tuple expression. So for each tuple in E1, we wish to generate a tuple in F of age and salary. We're going to use a debugging keyword called describe to make sure that we have written F correctly and we are going to cause a map reduce job to occur by calling dump on F. The pig Latin language is rich with keywords. Note here we show you two examples of order and limit and once again these keywords work on relations. Note we create a relation called employees by loading pig input file one, making sure that as we go through each record in the input file, we are using the comma as the token separator. We are loading our tuple to be name, age, zip, and salary. Then we are going to order the relation employees by the salary field in the tuple, creating a new relation called sorted. Take a look at the limit keyword. Note that limit allows us, as the word implies, to limit the number of tuples that will be found in our final relation. Join is another keyword that should be familiar to anyone working with data analysis. Note we have created two relations, E1 and E2. By this point, you should be able to read the load keyword and its parameters clearly. Note we create a third relation called E3 by joining E1 and E2 by the common field in their tuples. We then use a debugging keyword to make sure that what we intend for E3 to contain is true, and then we cause a map reduce job dumping E3. The Pig Latin language contains a number of keywords specifically for debugging a Pig Latin script. There is also a methodology associated with debugging a Pig Latin script. We would like to show you both now. As far as the keywords, we suggest to use illustrate, explain, and describe to make sure that the plan you are building is going to be interpreted correctly. When you test your script, use local mode before running it in a cluster. Local mode is slow, but there's no waiting for a slot. Logs for your operations appear on the screen rather on a remote task node, and the local mode runs all of your local process. A debugger can then be attached to the process. PIG is a high-level scripting language that is used with Apache Hadoop and excels at describing data analysis problems as data flows. PIG Latin is PIG scripting language and supports many traditional operations. You have seen join, sort, filter. You have also seen three complex data types, map, tuple, and bag. PIG scripting examples included filter, group, join, order, and limit. Use the pig Latin debug keywords such as illustrate, explain, and describe to debug pig and local mode to test scripts before running in a production environment. 
As part of this online tutorial, we would like to present to you a small exercise. We want to use our baseball statistics and player ID ancillary file, and we want to use HCAT to load both the batting.csv and the master CSV file. We want to create a table in HCAT to store the data by player ID, year, and runs. We also want to make sure that we load the table with data. Using PIG, we can group runs by year and find the maximum runs by year. We can also now join the maximum runs with the information of player ID. Therefore, if we use PIG to dump, we can put the output to our screen, which will result in a dump of tuples that will be a data set with year, player ID, and the max runs for that player. To take this idea into a PIG tutorial, we are going to group the elements in runs by year using the simple group command and creating a new relation called group data. We're then going to find the maximum runs for each year. We're going to use the for each operator to generate a tuple expression, which is group as, group, and max runs. We're going to join the maximum runs with runs data objects to pick up the player ID field. This will result in a data set with year, player ID, and max run. Then we will dump to the screen and dump the output showing the year, the player ID, and the max runs for that player. Thank you for walking through this PIG tutorial. Please join us for other Hadoop Essentials tutorials.